wanted to show you my latest piece I've completed. This is Polar Lights Quasimodo. I was looking for something to do at my model shop and uh, I saw Quasimodo here, the hunchback of Notre Dame of course, on the shelf so I decided to pick him up. Um, it was a pretty easy kit. It's really only an upper torso, lower torso, and then the base. The base went together pretty quickly. I painted it up in browns and did a dark wash on it. And then I accented the uh, metal pieces here, as well as the rings that chain him to the um, base. <coughs> uh, I came in with some dry brushing to highlight the greens here to kind of bring them out. Then I followed that up with a gray base coat for the flesh. And then I did a light wash just to kind of highlight the um, skin areas and bring them out. And I didn't I didn't bloody him up too bad on the back here. I did put in some bruising and some shadowing. I also came in with a wash on his hair to highlight the hair and then hit him up with a, another wash to bring out the um, different uh, textures on his hand and pants. And I hit this model kit with a lot of detail and I spent about three weeks working on this kit altogether. I need to mention too that it comes with two um, nameplate options. The first one goes flush with the um, wood here. It's not very tall and it just says the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I chose this one because it was bigger, easier to see, and easier to work with with the paint. I need to tell you too that this kit has the ability to swivel on the base there. I might glue that eventually just because I don't want to be carrying this kit and then have this piece fall off. But that's a nice feature in that it can do that. Um, he's got some nice detail on his body and face. And I bloodied up this eye a little bit and this eye kind of a lot and then I followed that up with a uh, um, gloss paint on the eye and the teeth and the mouth and a rust wash on all metal pieces where I thought rust would accumulate naturally so yeah it was a great kit easy to do and um, room for a lot of detail work so if you see this one, uh, pick them up. I uh, thank you for watching.